Transition They are used to smoothly move from one shot or scene to another scene. And seamless transition holds the attention, so the viewer can imagine what happened from one scene to another scene. And transition really helps to advance your storytelling. So in this video I'll show you, how to make the top 10 smooth and seamless transitions, inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. And these transitions will help you to advance your storytelling goals. Our first transition is called freeze frame. Freeze frame transition commonly used in music videos, to create visual impact and enhance the storytelling or mood of the song. Now let's see how to create the freeze frame transition inside the Premiere Pro. I've already got two clips ready on the timeline to show you how to do this one. So first move the time indicator to the first frame of your second clip. Here we have to take a snapshot of this frame, so click on this little camera icon to take a snapshot. If you can't find this icon here, click on this plus icon, then drag and drop this camera icon here. And click on OK. Now click on this camera button to take a snapshot of this frame. And select the snapshot format as PNG. Don't forget to enable import into the project, now click on OK. So it'll make a snapshot in the project window. Now add the snapshot above your footage. You need to remove the background from the snapshot. In Premiere Pro, you can remove background using the masking tool. So go to the Effect Controls tab. Under the Opacity effect, click on Pen Tool. Select your masking area to remove the background. But in this case, I would prefer to edit in Adobe Photoshop. So right-click on the snapshot layer and select Edit in Photoshop. And it will open up with the Photoshop application. Then go to the window and open Properties. Inside the Properties panel, expand the Quick Actions, now just click on the Remove Background. So automatically your background will be removed. Click Ctrl plus S to save it. Then go back to the Premiere Pro and see the preview. The background is removed perfectly. Now move your time indicator to the first frame of the snapshot layer, and cut 10 frames from the snapshot layer. Click Ctrl plus K to make a cut here. And delete the last part of the snapshot layer. Then move the snapshot layer above on your first clip. Now march the second clip with your first clip. Here is the preview and it looks good. Now we are going to animate the snapshot layer, so right click on the snapshot layer and nest it. Then go to the effects tab, search for transform effect, add this effect to the snapshot layer. Then go to the effect controls tab. Inside the transform effect, make a keyframe on the position, and move this keyframe to the end of this layer. Here you can move the character position to the left right, or up and down side. And move the position until it goes out of the frame, now move this keyframe to the beginning of this layer. The preview looks good, but not smooth yet. So click on the snapshot layer, and set the shutter angle to 120. It will add the motion blur in this character. Here is the final preview and it looks smooth. If you want to learn more about freeze frame effects, you can check out my previous video, where I'm gonna show you how to create five different freeze frame transitions. I'll add the link in the video description. Second one is called speed ramp transition. Currently speed ramp is a trending transition. It's commonly used in sports videos, action sequence and music video. Now let's move over to the Premiere Pro. Here I've already added two footage to the timeline. Here I'm gonna speed up this part. So right click on this little FX icon, time remapping and then click speed. Now if we drag up this line, this clip will be speed up, and if we drag it down, the video will be slower. So going back to the normal speed. Then move the time indicator, where you want to start the speed ramp. In my case I would like to speed up from this part. Hold on control key, and right click on your mouse, so this will add a keyframe, now here I like to speed up 800%. To make this animation more smooth, here you can see this two handle bar, there's like a left and right arrow, click on the right hand side and drag it to the right. Inside the marker you can see these middle points. Now click here and make this curve like that, so it'll give you a smooth preview. Now go to the second clip and do the same thing. Here I would like to speed up this part, so you don't have to wait. When it's done, merge the clips to see the preview, here you can see, it looks so smooth and fast transition. Now you can add a whoosh sound effect to make it looks more good. Let's see the final preview.
third one is called masking transition. Masking transition is a technique used to create a smooth and seamless transition between two shots by using an object or shape that covers the screen. This technique helps to maintain continuity and visual flow. Let's see how to make the masking transition. Here I've already added two footage. Inside my first clip, as you can see the bus cover the entire screen, so we are going to use the bus to create the masking transition. Here we need to find the exact frame when the bus leaves the screen. Now go to the effect controls panel, under the opacity effect, click on pen tool to create a mask. You can zoom in or zoom out the program window to create the mask properly and create a mask outside of our subject. Now we need to invert the mask to watch our subject, so click on inverted. Then make a keyframe on mask path and move one frame forward. You can use the left and right arrow key to move one frame. Then click on mask one and adjust the mask path. Again, move one frame forward, then adjust the mask path and do it continue until your subject is completely removed from the entire screen. We have done. Now see this, the area we need has been masked. Then go to the first keyframe and drag the mask to the left so that it can start from the exact frame. Now our mask is ready for this effect. Go back to the effect control panel and increase the mask feather 20 to 30. Select the first clip and move it one track above. Then select the second clip and pull it under the track where the mask is starting. Let's see the preview. So that's it. Now our transitions is ready. You can add a nice whoosh sound effect to make this transition more smooth. Our next transition is called Match Cut. Match Cut is a powerful transition in filmmaking. Match Cut create a seamless transition between two shots by visually or conceptually connecting them. It involves matching a specific element, such as shape, movement, action or sound. And there are three types of match cuts you can use in any project. Object match cut, where shape or image are matched during the transition. And you can use any shape or color of an object in the outgoing shot, that matched with a similar shape or color in the incoming shot. Second one is movement match cut, where you can match the same movement between two shots. And the third one is sound match cut, where the audio from the outgoing shot is carried over or matched with a similar sound element in the incoming shot and create a smooth audio transition between the two scenes. Now let's see how to match the movement, object and sound. As you can hear I've already imported two clips into the timeline. And these two clips have similar movements and objects. So first we are going to adjust the movement between the clips. Now find the frame where we need to cut the first clip. In this case I'm going to make a cut when the right leg is moving forward. Here I'm using a shortcut is called ripple trim next part, which is W. For the second clip, I'll try to find a similar movement that matches with my first clip. Now we are going to use another shortcut called ripple trim the previous part, which is Q. As we can see now the movement is perfectly matched between these two clips. And if you want to learn these types of advanced shortcuts and how to speed up your editing workflow 10x faster. You can check out my previous video, I'll add the video link under the description. Now we are going to match object between these two clips. In these case, I'm going to scale the first clip, then adjust the position. So move the first clip one track above, then drag it slightly on top of the second clip. And move the time indicator between the two clips. Now move over to the effect controls tab, and make sure the first clip is selected. Then reduce the opacity as around 30 to 50%. Here we are going to adjust the leg size and position with our second clip. So scale it until it matches the size of your second clip. Then click motion and try to match the position with your second clip. In my case, I think it looks perfect. Then change the opacity to 100%. Now move the first clip to the previous position. And there we go. You can add the cross dissolve effect to make it more smooth. The transition is perfectly matched here but I guess there is a problem. The color of these two clips are not matched yet. So we need to color grade these clips to match the sequence. As always, we can use the Lumetri color, but I'm using a modern and advanced plugin called Cinema Grade. And this video is sponsored by Cinema Grade. Cinema Grade is a very powerful plugin for color grading and cinema look. And it's a modern and simple color grading plugin. Cinema Grade will help you to faster color grade your videos. Inside this plugin, you'll get 90 Hollywood LUT presets, Cinema Grade is available for Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. 
Check out the cinema grade under the description link. And you can use my special coupon code to get 20% discount for a limited time. Now let's see how to match the color of these two clips by using the cinema grade plugin. When you install the cinema grade plugin, move over to the effects tab and search for cinema grade. You'll get this plugin under the video effects. Now mark all these clips and add cinema grade effect. Then move over the effect controls tab and select a layer. Under the cinema grade effect, click on open controls. So it will open up the cinema grade window. To the left side you'll get the color panel. To the bottom arrow, you'll get the video timeline. And the left side for the correction panel. To the top part, you'll get some icons to edit the light and colors. And you can check out my previous video under the description to learn more details about cinema grade. Now we are going to match the sequence. So move over to the shot matching tab. Then select a clip that you want to set as the source or main clip. In my case, I want to make this one for the main clip. As you can see, this one is my hero shot. Next I want to match this clip. Ok, then click on match shot. And open the video scopes for more color information. And here you can see, this one is my main or source clip RGB graph. This one is my second clip RGB graph. And now we will try to match these RGB graphs. First we need to adjust the shadow, mid-tone and highlight. Move over to the top part, and hold on to this light icon. Then select it to adjust the shadow mid-tone and highlights. Now click on the highlighted area in your scene, and drag it up or down to adjust the highlight. Click on the mid-tone area, again and drag it up or down to adjust the mid-tone. Let's decrease the shadow light a little bit. Then select the contrast, let's increase it a little bit. Now select the color temperature. I would like to make it a little bit warm color. I think it looks almost similar, let's increase a mid-tone a little bit. And that's it, as we can see that RGB graph also looks similar. And it was hours before and after. Now click on apply. And if you have more clips here, then you can apply this color to all the other clips, or you can apply it for this one. Then close the cinema grade window, and let's watch the final preview. Now I think it looks perfect. Next one is called Glitch Transition. So first import your footage to the timeline to make this transition. Then create an adjustment layer. Add this adjustment layer above on your clips. Move the time indicator center on these two clips. Then cut 20 frames from the adjustment layer. Now move over to the Effects tab, and search for VR Chromatic Aberrations, apply it to the adjustment layer. Then go to the Effect Controls tab, and disable auto VR properties inside the effect and select the frame layout stereoscopic. Change the value to zero for the red green aberrations and fall of distance. And move the time indicator to the first frame. Now click on the stopwatch icon for red green blue aberrations and fall of distance. Then move the time indicator center of these two clips. Back to the effect controls and change fall of distance values to 100. Now randomly change the RGB value to make the RGB split effect. Now go to the last frame of the adjustment layer, and set the values to 0 like first frame. Let's see the preview. It looks very smooth glitch transition. Finally add a nice glitch sound effect under the transition. Next one is called smooth zoom transition, and this is a most common and useful transition. You can use this transition for any kind of shots, but you'll get the effective result when you use this transition in drone shots, hyperlapse or any fast forward scene. So does that make sense between these two clips? To make this transition, I used a preset for my 50 smooth transitions preset pack. Recently I update this presets pack, here I added 5 new smooth zoom transitions. And all of these transitions are very easy to use, you just need to drag and drop on your clips. Inside the download page, you'll get the video tutorial as well. And right now this one is the top selling product in my store, so thanks to everyone for purchasing my presets. Now let's see how to use the new smooth zoom transition presets. When you download this presets pack, first you have to import it to the effects panel. So right click on the presets bin, and select import presets. Now select this presets pack, and click on open. 
Click on the presets drop down icon, and here you'll get this presets pack. Inside this pack, you'll find 50 plus smooth transition presets. Now we are going to use the new zoom transition preset. Here you'll get 5 new zoom transition preset. Apply the in preset for the incoming clip, and out preset for the outgoing clip. And that's it, our transition is ready for preview. As you can see it looks so smooth. Then add a whoosh sound effect to make it more perfect. Also, you can check out my ultimate sound effects pack, under the description link. Our next transition is called Action Cut Transition. Action Cut Transition make your videos more seamless and professional. So always look for an action or any impact happen, and make the cut when the action happens. You can see, I've already added two clips to the timeline. Now go to the first clip and find the frame where the action happens. As you can see here, this car passed away from the frame. So we are going to make a cut here, and delete the right part from the clip. For the second clip you can use any kind of footage, but if you can use a footage with the same motion or speed, this will make it more impactful transition. Here you can see the preview. Let's speed up the second clip to match the motion with my first clip. Let's see the final preview. It looks good. Add nice sound effects to make the transitions more smooth. And the last one is smooth light leaks transition. And this is my favorite transition. Because you don't need any specific shot to use this transition. You can use this transition in cinematic videos, music videos, travel videos, or talking head videos. And this transition is very easy to do, you just need a light leaks overlay video, I've 30 professional light leaks overlay, you can check it out under the description. Now find the brighten or highlighted part of the light leaks. And a marker here by clicking on M button. Then move this overlay above on your clips. And make sure the marker in the center of the two clips. Then move over to effect controls tab, and change the blend mode, normal to screen. Now you can add the cross dissolve effect, in one or two frames to make it smooth. Now I'm going to add a fire whoosh sound effect to make it more natural. Let's decrease the audio gain a little bit. And last add a burning sound effect. Now it looks perfect. Then select these sounds and overlay layer, and link them together. Then just hold on the Alt button, and drag it to another clip. So that easily we can use this transition. So that's all for today, if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos like this, and if you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section, I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day.